I'm going to be showing you how to complete all 10 J. Jonah Jameson photo missions in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. So let's go ahead and get started. So to complete these photo missions, you need to go right here on the map where the Daily Bugle is. There's going to be this photo mission icon uh, kind of on the south end of the city. And we're going to go to that icon, and that's going to be where J. Jonah Jameson is located. I recommend doing this after you complete the story because you will need to be able to freely switch to the Spider-Man character for each and every one of these missions. So let's get into these photo missions. So what you got to do is walk up to J. Jonah Jameson here at the bottom of the Daily Bugle and you can just talk to him with any character and he's going to give you some different photo missions. So there's 10 of them in total and this first one is going to have us take a picture of Grand Central Station. So fly over to this location here where the game tells you to and to take a picture you need to be playing as Peter Parker so you need to switch to Spider-Man and then once you do that you can switch over to Peter Parker by holding the change character button which is Y on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation then go back to Jameson after you take the picture and he'll give you a gold brick and that'll be one out of ten. Mission number two to start that just talk to Jameson again and the second mission will begin and this one's gonna have us take a picture of the raft prison and this one's all the way on the other side of the map so I highly recommend playing as Human Torch or Thor uh, somebody who can fly and you can just quickly get over here to the raft and there's gonna be this floating platform out here so once we land there we can then switch over to Peter Parker snap the picture and that's gonna be the second picture that we need to take so once we do that we then need to go all the way back over to Mr. Jameson at the bottom of the Daily Bugle so fly back talk to him and that'll give you another gold brick and that'll complete mission number two so mission number three is gonna have us take a picture of Stark Tower which of course in the MCU later becomes Avengers Tower. So we're just right up here at the top of the Daily Bugle, fly up here to the roof, switch back over to Peter Parker, and take the picture. So this one's probably the easiest one in the game just because it's so close to where you get the mission at the bottom of the Daily Bugle. So once we go all the way down here, we're going to talk to Jameson again, and that will complete mission number three. So we're going to talk to Jameson again, and he's going to give us the fourth mission, which is going to have us take a picture of the Empire State Building. A pretty legendary building in Manhattan so we're gonna fly all the way over there with uh, human torch here and once we get into position we're gonna switch over to spider-man I tried to do it with the black suit spider-man DLC character but it doesn't let you switch to Peter Parker with that version so make sure you're using the regular spider-man to switch over to Peter Parker take the picture then we're gonna fly all the way back over here to J. Jonah Jameson and collect our gold brick so next up is mission number five, and this one is going to have us take a picture of the mark that Thor leaves behind uh, when he teleports to Asgard using the Bifrost. Not sure if there's a name for the mark on the ground, uh, but in the story mode he leaves a mark, so we're going to fly all the way over here to where uh, he did that in the cutscene. Switch over to Peter Parker, and he'll take a picture of that little uh, Asgardian logo on the ground. And once we do that, we're going to switch back over to Human Torch and fly all the way back over to J. Jonah Jameson, hand him the picture, and collect the next gold brick. Next up for mission number six, we're going to talk to Jameson, and he's going to give us a mission for the Mutant Mansion. Of course, that means the X Mansion. So we're going to fly all the way across the other side of the map because that's where the X Mansion is located. So it takes a while, but luckily I'm able to speed up this footage, so it's not too bad for you guys watching this guide. And once we get into position here, we're going to switch over to Spider-Man and then switch over to his Peter Parker version and take the picture. And that is the X Mansion there. So now we're going to switch back over to a flying character like Thor, Human Torch. And we're going to go talk to Jameson, give him the photo. And that's going to be mission number six. So mission number seven, we're going to talk to Jameson again. And this one's a little interesting. It's just taking pictures of some random kids playing on the streets. Actually, they, they're kind of in a skate park, as you'll see here once we get there. And again, this one's kind of located on the other side of the city. I feel like they want to make this artificially take a long time just by placing these photos a long way away from the Daily Bugle. Once we get into position here, we can take a picture of these kids playing around in the skate park. And once we do that, we can switch back over to a flying character, fly back over to J. Jonah Jameson, hand in the picture, and that completes mission number seven. So moving on to mission number eight now, this one's going to have us take a picture of the legendary Statue of Liberty, or Lady Liberty. So this one, fortunately, is located pretty close to the Daily Bugle, so we're just going to fly right over here, switch over to Spider-Man, then to Peter Parker, and take the picture. Nice, good shot of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, by the way, if you get close to the Statue of Liberty, it'll actually blink at you, or wink at you, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to hand that photo over to Jameson, and that's going to complete mission number eight. 
Uh, mission number nine is a pretty cool one. So he wants us to take a picture of the world. Actually, just the city. But uh, so this is a cool shot of like the entire city. So we're going to fly all the way over here again. It's like on the other side of the map almost. And there's going to be this random floating platform out here, kind of above the water near the X Mansion. And once we get into position here, we can switch back over to Peter Parker and take the picture of the entire open world of Manhattan in this game. So really good shot of just showing just how big the world is in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, which was pretty legendary back when this game came out. And so we're going to deliver that back to Jameson, and that'll complete mission number nine. So we only have one mission left, and this last photo is going to have us take a picture of the Empire State Building, kind of looking over Central Park. Um, so we haven't had a photo of Central Park just yet, so we're going to fly all the way over here to the other side of Central Park, and there's going to be a position where we can take a photo here, switch over to Spider-Man, then switch over to Peter Parker, and we're going to take this picture there of Central Park and the Empire State Building. That's going to be the final mission, so we're going to go all the way back over to J. Jonah Jameson, and look at that, I did it as Peter Parker, just to make it uh, make sense within the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes universe. But guys, that is all 10 J. Jonah Jameson photo missions in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.